Back in 1976, Brian, a dedicated police officer in the small town of Whitehall, was on duty one night, working radar on William Street. His brother Paul and their friend Marty rushed towards him, claiming they had seen a monster on Abar Road. Initially skeptical, Brian was intrigued by their urgency and decided to take their claim seriously. He called his father, a sergeant with the O'Hall PD, for guidance. His father advised him to contact the state police and the sheriff's department and arrange a meetup at the reported sighting location. The next night, Brian teamed up with Trooper Fox, a New York State trooper, to investigate. As they parked in the field, surrounded by silence unusual for a warm August night, they heard strange noises in the distance, the sound of trees snapping and branches rustling. Brian and Trooper Fox communicated over the CB radio, positioning themselves at opposite ends of a hedgerow. Suddenly, Trooper Fox panicked, announcing his departure and swiftly driving back to Whitehall. Alone in the field, Brian's curiosity turned to fear as he heard a peculiar whooshing sound approaching his car. With his handgun drawn and a powerful spotlight in hand, he cautiously scanned the field, detecting movement in the tall grass. What he saw next would shake him to his core. In the glow of his spotlight, Brian laid eyes on a creature he could not comprehend. Standing no more than 35 feet away was a being unlike anything he had ever seen. The creature had large, round eyes, distinct hands, not paws, and a human-like yet animalistic appearance with long, dark hair and a muscular physique. As the creature emitted a deep, guttural sound, Brian felt a telepathic message urging him to leave the area. Despite the overwhelming fear and astonishment, Brian did not feel threatened by the creature. The encounter lasted only a few minutes, but in that time, Brian's perception of reality was forever altered. Returning to Whitehall, Brian found Trooper Fox at a diner, visibly shaken and unable to articulate what he had witnessed. The encounter left both men in a state of disbelief and fear grappling with the existence of a being that defied all logic and explanation. In the aftermath, Brian faced skepticism, ridicule, and attempts to exploit his story for entertainment purposes. Despite the doubts and uncertainties, he remained steadfast in his belief that he had encountered something beyond the realm of known creatures. Over time, Brian's encounter on a bar road became a cryptic legend in Whitehall, blurring the lines between reality and the unexplainable. Though he may never fully understand the true nature of the creature, Brian's story endures as a testament to the mysteries that lie beyond our perception. To add more detail, we can delve into the aftermath of Brian's encounter. The days and weeks following the sighting were filled with intense scrutiny and speculation. Local newspapers ran sensationalized headlines, drawing attention to the alleged Bigfoot sighting in Whitehall. Brian found himself thrust into the spotlight, bombarded with questions from reporters and curiosity seekers alike. Despite his best efforts to maintain a sense of normalcy, his life was irrevocably changed by the encounter. In the months that followed, Brian became somewhat of a local celebrity, with residents eager to hear his first-hand account of the encounter. He was invited to speak at community events and appeared on several local television programs to share his story. However, with the newfound attention came skepticism and disbelief from those who doubted the veracity of his claims. Despite the doubters, Brian remained steadfast in his belief that what he saw that fateful night was real. He sought solace in the support of his family and close friends, who stood by him unwaveringly throughout the ordeal. However, the constant scrutiny and skepticism took its toll on Brian, leading him to retreat from the public eye and focus on rebuilding his life Years passed, and the fervor surrounding Brian's encounter gradually faded. The legend of the Whitehall Bigfoot lived on, passed down through generations as a cautionary tale of the mysteries that lurk in the shadows of the forest. Though skeptics continued to dismiss his story as a mere fabrication, Brian remained resolute in his conviction that the truth was out there, waiting to be discovered. The incident of the Man Mountain of the Okefenokee Swamp is a legendary tale that has intrigued many over the years. 
It involves two men and a boy who ventured into the swamp during an exceptionally dry year, a period lasting three to four years. The water levels in the swamp had significantly dropped, making it an opportune time to explore the elusive interior that had previously been inaccessible. As the group delved deeper into the swamp, they stumbled upon massive 18 by nine inch footprint tracks, indicating a creature of immense size. The tracks adhered to the 150% rule, where the width of the track is typically 50% of its total length. Additionally, the stride of the tracks exceeded six feet, a significant measurement even for Bigfoot standards. What set these tracks apart was the presence of four toes, deviating from the typical Bigfoot characteristics. Overwhelmed by fear, the group hastily retreated and relayed their discovery to a larger party of armed men. Determined to confront whatever lurked in the swamp, nine stout individuals armed to the teeth with muskets, pistols, and sabers embarked on a mission to track down the mysterious creature. After weeks of relentless pursuit, the group eventually located the creature's trail and established a camp in its vicinity. Unfortunately, a careless act by one of the men sparked a violent confrontation, leading to a brutal encounter with the beast. In a ferocious attack, the creature emerged from the shadows and engaged the men in a deadly battle. Tragically, five of the nine men lost their lives, their heads ripped from their bodies in a gruesome display of the creature's strength and aggression. Despite the heavy casualties, the men managed to bring down the colossal beast with seven musket shots, finally ending the harrowing ordeal. Upon closer inspection, the creature measured an astounding 13 feet in height, with four toes and a formidable, aggressive demeanor. This harrowing incident differed significantly from typical Bigfoot encounters, leading many to speculate about the true nature of the mysterious creature lurking in the depths of the Okefenokee Swamp. As tales of the Man Mountain circulated, it raised questions about the existence of creatures beyond our comprehension, shrouded in mystery and myth. The incident serves as a chilling reminder of the untamed wilderness and the elusive beings that inhabit its remote corners. Darren and the group of kids set out on their usual weekend hike through the dense woods of the New Jersey Pine Barrens. Guided by their familiarity with the area, they followed a well-established trail that led them deeper into the forest. As they trekked through the wilderness, the group chatted and laughed, enjoying the freedom and adventure of exploring the natural surroundings. The path meandered through towering trees and thick undergrowth, with occasional glimpses of sunlight filtering through the canopy above. They navigated around fallen branches, crossed small streams, and ducked under low-hanging vines, their footsteps echoing in the quiet woods. The air was filled with the earthy scent of pine needles and the distant calls of birds and wildlife. Occasionally, they strayed off the main trail to explore hidden nooks and crannies, discovering secret clearings and unique rock formations. These detours added an element of excitement to their journey as they uncovered hidden gems within the vast expanse of the Pine Barrens. Despite the occasional scratches from thorny bushes and the muddy patches they encountered, the group pressed on, fueled by curiosity and a sense of camaraderie. As Darren and the group of kids approached the dome-shaped hut near a spring, a sense of unease crept over them. The structure loomed before them, its organic design blending seamlessly with the natural surroundings. The air around the hut seemed to hum with an eerie energy, causing the group to exchange nervous glances. Curiosity peaked, Darren took the lead, stepping closer to the hut to get a better look. The intricate weaving of branches and foliage that formed the dome's walls was a testament to someone's craftsmanship, yet the purpose of such a structure deep in the woods remained a mystery. As they circled the hut, they noticed the unmistakable stench of decay lingering in the air, growing stronger with each step. Their attention was drawn to a dead deer lying within the confines of the hut. The sight of the stripped carcass sent a shiver down their spines, and Darren couldn't shake the feeling that something was deeply wrong about the scene before them. The group stood in silence, 
their eyes darting nervously around the clearing, a sense of foreboding settling over them. As the group observed the unsettling sight before them, a tense silence enveloped the clearing. The sense of being watched lingered in the air, a primal instinct warning them of unseen eyes tracking their every move. Darren's skin prickled with unease, a deep sense of dread settling in the pit of his stomach. Suddenly, a rustling sound echoed from behind the hut, causing the group to startle and whirl around each other in unison. Their hearts raced as they strained their eyes to catch a glimpse of the source of the disturbance. A heavy silence followed, broken only by the distant call of a bird in the treetops. Then, as if emerging from the shadows, a massive figure stepped into view. The creature stood tall and imposing, its form obscured by a tangled mass of matted hair that cascaded down its body. Darren's breath caught in his throat as he took in the sheer size and primordial appearance of the being that stood before him. A collective gasp escaped the group as they beheld the creature standing mere feet away from them. Its eyes, hidden behind a curtain of tangled hair, seemed to bore into their very souls. Darren's mind raced, struggling to comprehend the sight before him, a creature unlike anything he had ever imagined. The creature emitted a low, deep guttural sound that sent shivers down Darren's spine. The air around them seemed to vibrate with an otherworldly energy, a palpable sense of danger hanging heavy in the clearing. Darren felt a primal fear grip him, an instinctual urge to flee from this unknown entity. With a sudden jarring movement, the creature let out a deafening roar that reverberated through the forest. The sheer force of its cry sent the group scrambling backward, their hearts pounding in their chests. In that moment, Darren knew they were facing something beyond their understanding, a being that defied logic and reason. As the creature advanced towards them, Darren's instincts kicked in, urging him to run. Without looking back, he grabbed his brother's hand and led the group in a frantic sprint through the underbrush, their minds reeling from the encounter with the mysterious being of the Pine Barrens. And so, the tale of their eerie encounter with the wild man of the woods would be whispered among them for years to come. A chilling reminder of the unfathomable mysteries that lurked in the darkness of the New Jersey Pine Barrens. In 2010, a former police officer embarked on a journey into the heart of the forest, driven by a quest for answers after a life-altering encounter with Bigfoot 10 years earlier. The mysterious sighting had sparked a deep fascination within him, leading him to join a dedicated group focused on uncovering the truth behind the elusive creatures. Armed with his experience in law enforcement and a newfound passion for cryptozoology, the man immersed himself in the world of Bigfoot research he became part of a team that strategically placed game trail cameras in the dense wilderness, hoping to capture elusive glimpses of the legendary creature that roamed the area. One day, checking a camera trap just off the side of a main road, instantly feeling a sense of unease from the moment he arrived, he brushed it off and proceeded deeper into the woods. As he checked his cameras, he noticed unusual impressions in the ground near one camera, but didn't think much of it. However, as he approached the second camera, a feeling of dread washed over him. Ignoring his instincts, he continued his task until he heard snaps of twigs and a strange noise that sounded a bit like a deer snorting. His senses heightened and he felt a presence nearby. As he fumbled through his keys to unlock the camera, suddenly a chilling moan-like growl echoed through the trees. Terrified, he slowly raised his head and caught a glimpse of a massive figure crouching near a tree covered in dark, bushy hair. In a swift movement, the creature darted across the clearing, sending the man into a panic. Convinced he was in grave danger, he sprinted towards the road, leaving his camera unlocked in his haste to escape. The man's heart raced as he pushed through the underbrush, fearing the creature was on his heels. Miraculously, he reached the safety of the road, gasping for breath and overcome with fear. Shaken to his core, he raced home to his concerned wife, recounting the harrowing encounter in tears. The man reflected on the possible reasons behind the unsettling encounter. He pondered the idea that the creatures had intentionally lured him into the woods to confront him. 
The area where he had set up his cameras and conducted research had been a frequent hotspot for Bigfoot sightings and activity. As he processed the sequence of events, the man began to see the incident as a deliberate act by the creatures to teach him a lesson and protect their territory. The looming figure, the eerie growls, and the intense feeling of impending danger all seemed orchestrated to convey a clear message. His presence was unwelcome, and he should respect the boundaries of the elusive beings that roamed the shadows of these woods. The man's realization of the potential motivations behind the encounter brought a newfound understanding of the delicate balance between human curiosity and the mysteries of the forest. The creatures, known to inhabit the area, had made their stance clear through a chilling display of power and intimidation, leaving the man shaken and humbled by the raw force of the untamed wilderness. Patrick and his friend found themselves in the midst of a hurried and unexpected house move one cold March evening in rural Iowa. A close friend and his girlfriend were facing eviction and in desperate need of assistance. Without hesitation, Patrick and his friend volunteered to help, despite the late hour and chilly temperatures. The urgency of the situation required them to work quickly and efficiently to transport all belongings to the new location within a mere 24 hours. As they embarked on the daunting task of loading and unloading furniture and boxes, little did they know that their act of kindness would lead them into a terrifying and surreal encounter with the unknown. As the evening wore on and the hours ticked by, Patrick and his friend worked tirelessly to move the last remaining items into the new house. The air was frigid, with a thin blanket of snow covering the ground, adding an eerie stillness to the rural landscape. The glow of the setting sun gave way to the flickering light of their bonfire, casting long shadows and highlighting the trees that surrounded the property. Despite the cold and fatigue, a sense of camaraderie and determination filled the air as they continued their laborious task. The crackling of the bonfire mixed with the sounds of their laughter and banter as they pushed through the night, fueled by a sense of urgency to help their friends in need. The music playing from inside the house provided a backdrop of muffled tunes. As the night progressed and the bonfire roared to life, its flames dancing high into the dark sky, the group took brief breaks to warm themselves by the intense heat. The contrast of the cold night air against the searing heat of the bonfire created a surreal and almost dreamlike atmosphere. Little did they know that the tranquility of the night would soon be shattered by an unimaginable terror that lurked in the shadows, waiting to reveal itself in a tumultuous display of power and fear. Frozen in terror, they could only watch as the creature began to wreak havoc on a nearby old oak tree, tearing it apart with unimaginable strength. Limbs snapped, bark flew, and the ground trembled with each powerful movement of the creature. The sound was so loud, it felt like the very earth was shaking beneath their feet. Despite their overwhelming fear, Patrick and his friend knew they had to flee to safety. They ran into the farmhouse, barricading themselves inside their hearts pounding with a mix of adrenaline and terror. Peering out the windows, they could see the flickering flames of the bonfire casting an eerie light on the night, but they dared not venture back outside. Throughout the long, terrifying night, they huddled together, unsure if the creature would return or if they were truly safe. The sounds of the roaring fire and the echoing roars of the creature haunted their every thought, leaving them traumatized and sleepless. When dawn finally broke, they cautiously ventured outside to assess the damage. The once majestic oak tree now lay in ruins, a stark reminder of the immense power of the creature they had encountered. The air was heavy with the scent of freshly splintered wood, a chilling aromatic reminder etched into their memories forever. As they surveyed the destruction, a sense of unease lingered in the air. The normalcy of rural life had been shattered by the presence of an unknown, otherworldly being. Patrick knew that he would never look at the world in the same way again, 
forever changed by the inexplicable terror that had engulfed them that fateful night in rural Iowa. Shane described three encounters with a mysterious creature in the woods. His first encounter as a child while deer hunting revealed a strange figure that walked like a man but vanished into the thicket. His second encounter as an adult driving home involved a tall, dark shadow with red eyes crossing the road swiftly. However, it was Shane's third encounter that left him terrified. He was out hunting wild hogs in the forest when he decided to set up in a tree. As he peered from his vantage point hidden high in a tree stand, his senses heightened by the adrenaline coursing through his veins, Shane caught a glimpse of a creature moving stealthily through the dense undergrowth. The creature's movements were fluid and silent, almost ghost-like as it navigated the forest with a grace that belied its immense size and power. The dappled sunlight filtered through the canopy, casting fleeting shadows and highlights on the creature's dark and imposing form. Shane watched in awe as the creature traversed the forest floor with a sense of purpose and determination, its every step exuding a quiet confidence and a primal awareness of its surroundings. Suddenly, the creature pounced through the air with a calculated open hand swipe of its hand. The creature delivered a powerful blow to the side of the hog, sending it flying through the air like a rag doll. The force of the impact was so great that the hog collided with a tree with a sickening thud echoing through the woods. The sheer strength of the creature was on full display as it effortlessly grabbed the hog by the neck, dominating the unfortunate animal with ease. As the hog lay defenseless on its side, the creature's next move was even more startling. Rearing up with its left hand, the creature unleashed a series of brutal strikes upon the hog's body. Each blow landed with bone-crushing force, the sound of breaking ribs reverberating through the air like gunshots. The relentless assault continued, the creature's primal instincts driving it to assert dominance over its prey in a display of raw power and savagery. Witnessing this intense and harrowing scene unfold before his eyes, Shane was struck by the brutal efficiency and ferocity of the creature's attack. The speed and precision with which the creature dispatched the hog left him both awed and terrified, confronting him with the stark reality of nature's unforgiving cruelty. Shane watched in disbelief as the creature effortlessly killed the hog, demonstrating a level of strength and precision that was beyond anything he had ever seen. Despite the creature's brutal display, Shane noticed a sense of intelligence and awareness in its eyes, prompting him to stay still and silent in his hiding place up in the tree stand. As the intense encounter reached a pivotal moment, Shane found himself locked in a silent exchange with the mysterious creature. With the hog's life now extinguished, the creature's attention shifted to its surroundings and its gaze swept over the area. In a surreal and heart-pounding moment, Shane realized that the creature had detected his presence, likely through its heightened sense of smell. The creature's head tilted slightly, its brow furrowing in what seemed like a mix of surprise and curiosity. As its gaze focused on the tree stand, where Shane lay concealed in camouflage, there was a profound sense of recognition that passed between them. In that fleeting moment, Shane sensed a message conveyed through the creature's penetrating gaze, the unspoken words echoing with a silent warning. You are not supposed to be here. Despite the tension and unease hanging in the air, the creature's demeanor did not appear aggressive or hostile toward Shane. Instead, there was a quiet acknowledgement of each other's presence a mutual understanding of boundaries that should not be crossed. With a final glance that seemed to convey a mix of wariness and respect, the creature turned away from Shane and with deliberate steps began to move back into the depths of the forest. As the creature disappeared into the wilderness once more, leaving Shane alone with a cacophony of emotions ranging from fear to wonder, the encounter left an indelible mark on him. The silent exchange had transcended mere animal instinct, hinting at a deeper connection between man and beast. A profound moment of shared recognition and a glimpse into the mysterious world of the unknown that lay beyond the edges of human understanding.
In the vast wilderness of Otter Tail County, Minnesota, Bob found himself in a perplexing situation during a hunting trip in 2008. After taking a shot at a buck, Bob descended from his tree stand to investigate for blood trails or if the animal was hit. As he followed the deer's trail, he was startled by a bizarre, escalating sound unlike anything he had ever heard. The noise, starting as a low rumble and crescendoing into a high-pitched scream, this caused another startled buck to bolt away in a panic, leaving Bob alone in the field with the unsettling sound echoing in his ears. Perplexed by the strange encounter, Bob attempted to replicate the sound in vain as he failed to even get close to mimicking it. He was further unnerved when the unseen presence snorted in response before vanishing into the woods with a thunderous commotion, breaking branches in its path. Despite his curiosity, Bob felt an overwhelming sense of unease that led him to eventually leave the area without delving deeper into the source of the mysterious sounding creature. Years later, in autumn 2012, Bob ventured into the dense wilderness of southeast Minnesota for another hunting expedition, this time perched in a cottonwood tree near a creek. Suddenly he heard a deep, human women-like scream that reverberated through the stillness of the forest, prompting him to prepare to leave. His attention was then drawn to an unexpected sight, a deer dashing across the field, moving in a peculiar manner that seemed to hint at a cautious approach to its surroundings. As daylight waned, Bob was startled again by the sound of two childlike voices, giggling and conversing in an unintelligible language emanating from the nearby woods. Despite the innocent nature of the chatter, the disembodied voices of what seemed to be little girls both intrigued and unsettled Bob. The presence of unseen entities engaging in playful banter in the dark depths of the forest, it made no sense that children or a family were so far out in the wilderness, heading into the deep woods at dusk. This filled Bob with a primal sense of dread, compelling him to retreat cautiously, armed with a heightened sense of vigilance. Reflecting on these eerie encounters, Bob found himself grappling with unanswered questions and lingering unease, unsure of the true nature of the strange phenomena he had witnessed. The unsettling interactions with unknown forces in the wilderness left an indelible mark on Bob, prompting him to question the boundaries of the known and the unexplained, forever altering his perception of the natural world. Armando, a truck driver from New Jersey, had an extraordinary encounter on a fateful night in Longview, Texas. As a dedicated owner-operator truck driver, Armando embarked on a routine drive from New Jersey to Dallas, Texas in search of a new trailer to further his business ventures. Along for the journey was Armando's loyal companion, Buddy, a tiny Jack Russell Terrier who provided companionship and entertainment during his long-haul travels. It was a chilly morning on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, when Armando made a brief stop along I-20 West in Longview, Texas. As he pulled over to let Buddy stretch his legs in a patch of woods dividing the east and west sides of the highway, an uncanny series of events unfolded that would leave Armando questioning the reality of what he encountered. Initially, the tranquil surroundings of the early morning woods seemed peaceful. Armando, keeping a watchful eye on Buddy as he roamed, he noticed an eerie quietness settling in. The absence of typical forest sounds like chirping birds and rustling leaves sent a shiver down Armando's spine, signaling an impending sense of unease. As Armando called out for Buddy, a series of peculiar events began to unfold. The distant sounds of animals moving through the woods soon escalated into frantic commotion, resembling a chase scene involving wild pigs. Armando's concern for Buddy peaked as he feared his beloved dog may be in danger amidst the chaotic sounds echoing through the woods. Venturing further into the wooded area in search of Buddy, Armando stumbled upon a sight that defied all logical explanation. Perched high in a tree, 
Armando caught a glimpse of a colossal, ape-like creature with distinctive red eyes, emitting an unsettling presence in the dim moonlight. As Armando's gaze locked with the creature, a sense of primal fear gripped him, rendering him frozen in place. The creature's massive stature, muscular build, and haunting gaze painted a picture of raw power and astonishing presence. The creature emitted guttural sounds and gestures that hinted at an unknown language or communication method. In a heart-pounding moment, a male counterpart of the creature emerged from the forest, joining the perplexing encounter. With a commanding presence, the male creature displayed a sense of coordination with the female counterpart in the tree, hinting at a complex social structure within their species. The tension in the air was palpable as Armando found himself at the mercy of these mysterious beings, unsure of their intentions or potential threat. However, a surprising turn of events unfolded as the male creature, with a scarred thigh and imposing presence, offered Armando an unexpected reprieve. In a moment of silent communication, the male creature conveyed a nod of understanding to Armando, signaling a detente and allowing Armando to slowly retreat to safety. With a mix of awe, fear, and bewilderment, Armando made a hasty departure from the surreal encounter. His mind reeling with unanswered questions and a newfound respect for the beings he had encountered. In the aftermath of the encounter, Armando grappled with a range of emotions, from fear and disbelief to a deep sense of curiosity and intrigue. His account of the encounter stood as a testament to the uncharted territories of the natural world and the mysteries that lurked beyond human understanding. The profound experience left an indelible mark on Armando sparking a newfound fascination with the unknown and a quest for answers in the realm of cryptid encounters.